using the game playing Snapfire, and then you've got this Sumail uh, Morphling at the end. They have, a, I feel like, a very good mid-game timing with this Alk, Lesh running in. I'm pretty sure that his morph is pretty good. His lane should be okay as bottom. Hello. All right, GH drops low, and Nande takes first blood. Dude, he got so much value out of that, the battle Alk. Oh, he does get uh, put into a bad position. Nande down low, has to walk away. One last hit comes in. So MC gets a little bit of retribution as he returns to this lane. Yet to see a Centaur Meteor Hammer. Gonna find out about oh. it today as the stun is there and Sumail just gets bodied by Skylark. One thing that is really, really big right now for Nigma is that MC just got his Arcane Boot. So they're gonna be able to continuously spam on the CM, on this Alchemist, as there's just more back and forth. <laughs> They thinking about a stun here too. Throws out the acid spray. Punch now. Glimpse back. Both of them low. MC could maybe kill them both uh -oh. off, but instead they turn now on to MC himself. A couple more hits. He's not the acid spray. One second. But still the turn. It's not a great Dante. Oh, he lives. They take them both down. Dude, it's just a brawl. Like Fight Club down bottom. <laughs> the way Brood works is usually when it goes mid. Uh oh, he has a rain drop. Right? No, he doesn't have a rain Spartan. drop. Oh, Spartan! Spartan! <laughs> Goes in for it, wants the kill so bad. One last hit, it's not gonna be enough. Amar barely get lives and the spiders are there. Oh, poor guy. Amar, are you tipping him? No. They understand they can't really go for kills, but they're really pressuring and like pushing it to the limit. And that's definitely something that players have gotten a lot better. So we have a little, a little center storm saying hello. His dear friends, says GH. <laughs> top, bottom, top, bottom, mid, top. They're all gone. <laughs> oh, Meteor Hammer lands, Stampede to get away, Nande. Gets the kill onto GH with the Stampede while the other one lives, and Wish gonna run down Kuro. So, 8 to 6, 14 kills in 10 minutes, and dropping low is Sumail. They don't have enough to really kill him eight here. To seven. Spartan goes down to Amar. <laughs> really hard for Monaspa to now defend bottom, because look where Amar is playing. He's basically, they're taking over the Monaspa jungle, so it's really hard to regain control. There is this uh -oh. thing that we see as well. Wish drops so quickly. And with no help anywhere nearby, he just gets blown up. All right, Amar is starting to cook. I start to bring Amar down here towards Wish, but I mean, again, there's not just that concerted effort yet, but they will find a glimpse here. This is a nice play. Catching onto the Amar's centaur on the back. in very far, and Stampede comes out. That keeps him alive and turn around. Amar just gets brought down. Oh, Manaspa was nearby close oh, enough to stole make the, the play. And okay, stolen kisses. Could go for another move here if they're not careful. Wish kills off the creep that was cookied in towards him. And you can see that the maneuvering that Nigma have done, uh -oh, they Monka, leave Monka. Amar up top. And the rest of Nigma is in towards mid. The big jump ready to come. MC is there. Skylark says hello. Stun is out with the kisses nice down, static. but MC, he lives. Static Storm is there. Now the egg to try and turn it. Hande just gets out of there for the moment. He's so low, but he can't get away. Oh, Desire caught with the Orchid. This is the fight back that Nigma uh -oh. were looking for as they kill off that Rubik. And now even looking for Wish. If they can find him, he has Bloodstone ready. It's going to keep him very survivable, along with Skylark off to the side, ready to go for a big jump play. They glimpse him back in, breaking the blink now. Skylark also in trouble. Wish in a ton of hurt, and well, he drops lower and lower, tries to bring down MC. Can he quite do it with the Sunray coming in? Wish eventually is going to be brought down. A triple kill for Amar. That was the fight they were looking for. Uh-oh, disaster times. That was a beautiful static storm by GH, keeping MC alive, silencing Nande that he has to... I'm pretty sure he ended up stunning himself, and then Kuro comes in with a beautiful dive egg make it happen. It, it does feel again like we we're talking about identity. This mm. entire game has been set up uh, for Sumail, which is where yep. in a lot of cases have looked the best. Stun. Oh, nice. On to two. Meteor Hammer. You can't break that one. Then he Static Storm. Oh. They find a second round of the stuns and look at the oh. damage out. Oh my god. Spartan blowing up MC. They brought numbers on Manaspa. They find the kills. Okay. Double stun into double Meteor into, I don't know, Double concoction, when we're moving on. Oh, just stay Good on orchid. Top of them. Nah, it's not gonna work. Well, wow. nice blink out though, and some fancy footwork around the trees, as they now see Spartan as Amar is role playing a ward. In trouble? Actually, hides away. Nope, the glimpse is gonna be there. See ya. Spartan make a death. He may have died. <laughs> this is very dangerous indeed. Uh, they are underneath a ward though. Oh, oh smoke, smoke up. up. Careful, careful. Amar, he's out front and center. They do manage to find that Rubik right at the start. As Low buyback. Up. They want to commit it here. Do they want to come back in and try and take this fight? Spartan has spiders on him. 
Roche still ready to be hit. Morphling's on it right now, but the Shadow Amulet, it's going to run out sooner or later. You got to get out of there, buddy. No! The CM going to get killed. Role playing and aboard again. Seeing a whole lot of stuff there. Skylark looking for an opening to find a stomp. And Found he finds it. it. Stun, no. Disruptor ulti down. And he can't get an egg off. Kuro not able to do it. BKB is already out from Nande. Sumail trying to back away as Wish is right on top of him. But with the Aegis, it's a little bit too scary to go for the all-in play there. Do you think that they have what it takes to take a solid fight? Like, do they have to wait for Aegis to expire? I don't think they necessarily have to. It's more about how they initiate, but not like this. Wish in mid, okay. Gets off his BKB. Skylark thinking about going for a hoof stomp there. Finds the back line onto the Phoenix, but uh -oh. they break it immediately. So no Meteor Hammer from Skylark, no Stampede for another nine seconds. And that was not the initiation they were looking for. Definitely not. And to answer your question again about how they need to fight, so let's imagine. I get to hit you four times, you're going to die. They're setting up, though. GH, GH, he finds him. GH finds him right there to the side. The BKB out. Lincolns. And yeah, passed over the Lincolns. Sumail keeping Run. his buddy alive for a little bit, but it won't be for long enough. And now Nande uh -oh. is BKB's out. And Sumail still just beating into him. Here comes oh, a bar. Catastrophic. But the stomp, the stun, the CM ulti, they bring four. He's living. Amar's like, I don't care. I'm still going to battle you. There is no alchemist here. I am not concerned. They kill off the centaur and Manaspa. Things are really falling off the rails for him now. Who's your top net with alchemist? I think again too, like just to highlight GH in that moment yeah. to like go and check that area. Because if that didn't happen, you can imagine a world yeah. where they all in Sumail and he's dead. And instead, this is happening. The base is being broken. Manaspa, no answers. As Nigma looking to take a tier 3 tower in Arax. I like the aggression there. Like, you go up this high ground, you know that these two cores are dead with like 12, 15 seconds left. They don't want to buy back. Kuro dives in, aggressive use. They follow up, follow up with the kisses, the waveform. Two more quick kills. And now, easy Rax. Yeah, taking it, making it happen. Amar chasing in, trying to get a BKB out of Wish. Doesn't look like that's going to happen right now. Oh, the pipe oh. out and catching the oh. again! Nande in no man's land, they are all dying. Wish the only one that's left amongst the cores. They buy back on the Alk, saying that they still want to fight into this. He's holding his BKB forever. He held it for too long. Wish uh -oh. just gets killed off, and the BKB not able to come out in time to make the difference. He was holding it for a better moment, but then he got bashed, literally right before he wanted to press it. And well, in those one and a half seconds, my friend, you are dead. Well, Amar, a very good pickup of the basher as they head on up for the last tier three tower. It's going to drop. Nande down to half HP before the fight even Just really steps off. Casual adaptive strike deals 800 damage. Yep, seems good. Sumail, they put the team on his back and he is not dropping it right now as Skylark could go for initiation if they oh. want the stun. Nande trying to find somebody. Meteor Hammer now onto Omar, but he gets four sapped away, keeping himself alive. Now the turn, Nande is going Gone. to explode. CM ulti, not gonna happen, and GG is called. An incredibly impressive performance here from Nigma. Disruptor just screams early aggression in the sidelines to me, and you have Tiny 4 and Tusk 5. So a little monka monka in the sidelines. Potentially. That's fair. Uh, they are under award right now, but it's all of Manaspa. Mm. Oh God, oh God. Uh oh. Oh God, what's gonna happen? Wish, run! It's a pretty good Crypt Swarm, but unfortunately there are a billion heroes here. Oh. Let's back in, but the Avalanche, oh. the Snowball, the battle! It's in the Thunderdome! Get after him, Sumail! He's not afraid of any of these heroes. Manaspa are gonna lose two right before the Horn. As we can see, so you kind of want that impetus as desire. Second round of spells. Thinking about going for Sumail instead. They find uh -oh. oh, the toss! Not on Ruh -roh. the bench, but... Kuro will still uh, manage to get out of there. It looks like, well, down bottom, they went on to MC a little bit. They do finally bring down Kuro. Should maybe be a little bit ahead. We'll see. High fives there is Nande. Tries to get away. In trouble. Spartan can't quite get there in time. The snowball saved for a moment, but Nande oh boy. going to die again. Yeah, this uh -oh. Clanks is just not having Ultra a good kill. time at all. Spartan, oh. whoa. All right, fancy, fancy moves. Has a fairy fire. GH going for the fairy all fire. in. Fairy fire there. Tag team. Bring him down in time. A couple <laughs> more hits. GH. These next two, three minutes are very crucial for his game. Desire is looking. Second movement out of the mid. This time it's going to be Wish, who will catch Kuro there. Immediately tries to TP out. No such luck. Mm. So no TP when Kuro comes back. 
game. So maybe Clinks can make the comeback happen eating that one. Just go, yo, yo, Nande, come bottom, eat my creep, we're back. <laughs> There's a dream, a chance. Spartan, Spartan hello. Snowball dodge later. Uh-oh. <laughs> Rut row level. They, they come in with Amar now, and Spartan, I think he's not going to be long for this world. The glimpse buys time a little bit longer for him as, well, Amar moves in, finishes him off. Amar very, very strong right now, and then just TPs back towards that mid lane afterwards, although it does have a DD. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you jinx nope. him? Did you jinx him? Amar, lower and lower the second spirit siphon. How does he die? That's how he dies. Well, wow. an another bonus, right? It's not just gold for the guy who farms it. It's gold for you and XP and uh, desire kill. Yeah. Quick and easy one. They bring down that tiny and ready to run wild over this map, potentially. I agree. Let's let's not sugarcoat it. Kuro is just sitting down here, you know, living his life, getting some gold. Spartan, different story. Spartan's had a rough one here on this tiny, excuse me, Tusk. Uh, five and now sixth of his team's 10 deaths. It has been hurting for the position five. Oh, absolutely. Okay, if you're Monaspa, you need to start taking some of these tier one towers because not only do you need map space as Desire's looking for a kill, Nande be able to connect onto it. So this is what the sniper does. And with how Nigma have played the map, I feel a little afraid, at least for the next two minutes, that they could just get overran. Hey, there's not that much to stop the overrun coming out, but the root is there. That's pretty good. Spartan Sprout. trying to get into vision. Oh, we can't quite get there did have the Walrus Punch available. Amar makes the move up top. And the they glimpse. Got the Static Storm, he's in trouble. Trying to ring around the Rosie, hoping to get out of there. Bites his way through and actually is able to escape. Skylark dodging damage. And now Wish shows up, has Kuro in his sights. Another exorcism to kill the Enchantress. But if they can find more after, that would be pretty good for them. And in fact, Amar, that's a good one to find. Nande is there. The hits, the silence, nowhere to go. And oh, PH Mayo. jumps in. Sumail just explodes too. Uh-oh. What in the heck? Uh, he just wanted to give them, uh, you know, a double whammy. Amar dying was not enough. Nande shows up with the Gleipnir and gets himself a double. Hmm. So Sumail does not have anything right now, and Nande shows oh. up, spots him. Sumail, Avalanche, catches him there with the toss, and then they have the Gleipnir if they can chase him down. Should be able to find him. Trying to keep him alive, but no, the hit! Clinks comboed together with the Helm of the Dominator, Helm of the Overlord Hero. Yeah, it's pretty powerful. Oh, well, hello. Fire, toss back. Finds him there, a double round of ultis, and now the Disruptor ulti comes in as well. Okay, They're Amar sitting in a shot lot of room. damage. They're absolutely cutting through him there, but it's not quite enough to take down Nande. But the TP back in, it's Sumail who wants to come and clean up this creep wave here. They see him on the ward, and MC just oh. TPs in, realizing they're in the area, is going to find Desire. And so another hero from Manaspa going down. The death pack's going 230 damage now with that level three ulti for him. Yeah, you know, it seems, seems normal to He's me. at 4,000 HP on this Clinks. Wrap around. Sumail is here. Sumail, if they break, they find Kuro right at the start. Sumail, BKB jumps, finds one. They try and blow up Nande. He's starting to drop low, but the damage, the turnaround onto Sumail, it's not going to be enough. Skylark shows up. Nande backs away from this fight. They're trying to kill GH. Sumail's right on top of him. Sumail just gone, dead for 70 seconds. The Desire, he finds two. Nande, they toss him back in, find MC, want to blow him up. Do they have enough? Yes, the root's there, the kill is there, oh. and Amar runs in and blows up Nande. That's the fight that they needed, but can he get out afterwards? No. Ooh. Wish is there for the double kill, so they win the fight, they lose both carries, but definitely a bigger win for Manaspa. With Amar blinking in and popping his spells real quick, bam, one hero dead. Uh, hey, they're Nande. fishing. Sumail, right away, they see him. They blow him up. That is Aegis already down. Chakram onto Nande, and the damage out. They will kill off the tiny, okay, but now Sumail turning onto Wish, but the snowball save at the last second. Sumail's BKB is going to wear out soon. Is he going to be able to get out of there? It looks like that he will for now, and Wish barely kept alive there. So if they can uh, win a fight, the base is just gone. Yeah. There's, there's nothing left there, and it will happen so quickly. They drop down a sentry ward. Don't know if they spotted there, but they will now find and kill off that disruptor. Into the sentry range. Wish still chasing. With this DD on Clinks, it is so scary. And particularly BKB down on Sumail. They find Kuro. He's oh. just gone. The forest on cooldown. You're dead. <laughs> 
Sumail, oh, if he blitz. decides to go in this one, Mar dumps in. Satisfying. Couple hits from the low ground. Nande still playing very aggressively. Now Glimpse, nine seconds away. Amar chasing in at this one and goes in Goal a bit Scepter. too far, but the Ghost Scepter keeps him alive. The toss back, but Sumail under Nande. He's what down so low, but not quite going to die. One last hit comes in from MC to end his life. And now the tiny dead two. There is no buyback on either of those heroes. Go in, burst, go out, and then come back in again, which Timber is really good at. Top lane, hello. Find him. Not Rooted. a root. Root on root on root. In trouble. In no TP. Route. Now he's leashed. Now he's he tries to blocked. get away. Oh my god. Skylark now glimpse. That was the saddest little wolf I've seen in a while. Yeah, that was he brought to him right after. That was a pretty sad death. You get rooted, you get rooted, you get sprouted, you get body blocked. <laughs> then you get glimpsed and then you die. GH tried to flicker into the pit. <laughs> uh oh, it's up. Not there. They see that Roche is up. It's gonna die so quickly. And do they realize it's smoke up? And Aspa want to make the move. They're going to be too late. And the Death Pact isn't the big one either. Yeah, it comes out just a second too late. They can't take this fight. They got to get away. Oh. Nande, but the Glyphnir, the big hit. Will it be enough to kill off Amar? Doesn't quite look like it. Sumail finds the Clinks. That's the Abyssal Reveal. And that was not the fight they were hoping for. Wish is just going to TP out, but MC, he's got him. Now Wish in a ton of trouble. Wants to run down heroes. Wants to take some type of a decent fight, but it's not looking good. They find him, they kill him. Spartan does blow up one. It's just the GHs. He tries a very uh, a very bold TP, but does get brought down. In the oh, end. another one. And they find him. Ooh. Zyre also in trouble. Blink up in a second, but does he manage to get away from MC? Another TP. Hammer them all the time in these fights. Just keeps pumping out the right clicks with all the roots. And they're calling for it. Just go for the all in play. Clink's no buyback for 40 more seconds. Skylark is going to pop ulti now. They do have Wish buyback, but they're holding it for the moment. Sumail jumps in, almost found a bash there or an Abyssal, but he was able to BKB and get out of harm's way. Forcing a BKB, all good. Even if Wish buys back, there's no Exo. All right, they need a little bit more time. Jump forward, the Avalanche, the toss back towards Tier 4s, towards the Fountain, and Amar getting low, but not dead yet. Sumail wants to find that kill now on Desire, broken and finished. Buyback available. They decide to come in. I mean, Nigma, they're going for the all-in type of play, and now they realize they can't really do that. They're going to set their sights now on to the racks. Wish, BKB, Walrus punch there. Nande back in the way. But he does not have... Oh, he did have a creep. He's got it now. Sumail, he's caught there to the side. Has oh. to split the uprights. Didn't end up doing the damage to Sumail, I don't think. That they have all of this net worth built up on these heroes. MC uh, did end up having uh -oh. the connection there. Wish. see him. Doesn't manage to quite get out of there. That's not going to be enough. He's gone, and Skylark also in trouble. Going to get Glimpse back for the moment. Double Chakrams go out, but doesn't connect. But won't go for it. And Nigma maybe trying to end this game here. What do they have at their disposal? 90 seconds without the Death Prophet. They have a big creep ready to go for Nande. Okay, Nande decided to buy another Death Chrysalis, pack. so he's all in. No all buyback. All in for the damage. They find him. Skylark BKB tries to run away. Howl is there too. Amar backs out. They get the Gleipnir onto two, trying to kill off Amar. Will it be enough damage? Doesn't yes, quite geez. look like it. Still living. Still sitting pretty. Eyes set now onto the rest of these buildings. Cheese has popped Sumail. He finds him. Snowball save to try and get him out of harm's way. Nande backs out. BKB is there. They find the bash, though. They find the Abyssal. Nande Gleipnir is going to explode. Everybody gone. GG is going to call. It was cute. It was pretty. But in the end, Nigma just a little bit stronger. Ah, sad. Didn't see my Klings win. They did it in Div 2. It worked before. Honestly, it didn't look bad.